For any Xbox or PlayStation codes or cheap games on any platform, use the referral link in the description. It'll take you to G2A.com. Use the promo code CHEZ over there and you'll get yourself 3% cash back. For all No Identity merchandise, hats, hoodies and t-shirts, follow the link in the description down below to the No Identity Fan Fiber website. Hey guys, welcome to part 3 of this mini-series for Euro 2020 with England, if you missed episodes 1 and 2, or parts 1 and 2, then check the channel page for them. You'll be able to see the group stage and the quarter-final. Of course, you'll be able to tell from the title of this video that we're in the semi-finals. We have Belgium at this stage. This will be a one-off special, and then if we get to the final, I'll don the suit and we'll play the final, which would be against Germany should we win this game. And uh, I'll wear the suit for the final, but still in the England shirt for now. As you can see, Germany have beaten the Spanish by two goals to one. So it will be they versus either Belgium or myself. Hopefully me. We'll have to wait and see, of course. Uh, the starting lineup, everybody's, al well, almost everybody is fully fit. As you can see, Ross Barkley slightly off 100% stamina, as are a couple of others. But they're fit enough to be able to start and still give uh, absolutely everything for the cause. Uh, Rashford on the bench. Has been pushing for a start, especially with that brace uh, in the third group stage game against Norway. But Harry Kane scored the second goal against the Dutch yesterday. So we'll, we'll start him up top and we'll see how we get on. Drop the video a like if you enjoy. Subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on any further content. If we lose today, then episode one of season six of the Career Mode RTG will be tomorrow. If we win, then it will be the final tomorrow and episode one of season six the day after that. Uh, you will be seeing this... I actually am not sure. Saturday? Let me have a look at my video manager. That's Wednesday, that's Thursday. Yes, you'll be seeing this Saturday. Hope you're having a good weekend. Let's jump in to play Belgium in the Euro 2020 semi-final. Right then, what does this Belgian side look like? Very, very strong, actually. Courtois, Meunier, Vertonghen, Aldebarad, Jordan Lukaku. Tielemans and Nangolan holding with Carrasco on the right. Hazard on the left, De Bruyne at Cam, and Romelu Lukaku up top. That's possibly, possibly the strongest side that they could have put out. Right. This is not going to be easy by any stretch of the imagination. We saw how I struggled to score against Courtois in the final game of the Premier League season with Cambridge. Of course, he's 93 rated right now. In fact, let's have a quick look, because I'm intrigued to see what rating the other... Uh, Belgian players, right? Let's have a look. Courtois 93, no rating for Meunier. Vertonghen now down at 83, but Alderweireld 86, no rating for Jordan. 88 rated Yannick Carrasco. Why is Rajan Angolan only 83? He might be in his early 30s now, actually. I think his stats might have started to drop. Yuri Tielemans is up to 85. A 90 Hazard, a 91 De Bruyne, and a 90 Lukaku. Well, the front line is menacing. But their midfield and defence isn't actually as strong as initially thought. I thought Rajan Angolan would be higher rated than that. Although I'm still not going to underestimate him. Just because his overall rating has dropped doesn't necessarily mean that his individual stats are, uh, are much worse. So I don't want to take anything for granted. It's a lovely ball through though from Harry Kane there. And we'll try and turn and get this to Sterling. Oh, but he has reached Deli Alley. Good save. Harry Kane surely 1-0 England. No, he was offside. I thought he'd gotten off to the perfect start in this semi-final. But Harry Kane drilled it back into the middle. Good save by Thibaut Courtois from Deli Alley. But Harry Kane, as you'll see from the replay, just half a yard. A yard at most offside. Unfortunately, not able to make it 1-0 there. But very, very close to doing so. Here's Carrasco. Driving inside and then going outside again. Not really too sure what to expect from Carrasco on the right-hand side of midfield. Used to playing against him and playing with him on the left-hand side of a midfield uh, three in a 4-2-3-1 but on the right I don't know whether he's gonna try and cut in so long to his weaker left or whether he'll as he can I think this oh it's a lovely ball through please Ross Barkley surely yes we do need we do lead now legitimately as I'm saying I don't know what to expect from uh, Yannick Ferreira Carrasco on that right hand side but Ross Barkley with a great run Harry Kane with a dink through great touch on his left and then actually and a very accomplished finish on his left foot too Ross Barkley giving us a 1-0 lead here. Courtois might be 93 rated, but there was nothing he could do about that. England 1, Belgium 0 inside 10 minutes. Here's De Bruyne. Out wide to Carrasco. Good tackle by Luke Shaw. As much as I praise and to say that I'm terrified of their high-rated players, to be fair, we've got a number of extremely high-rated players as well. I 
probably should have passed that. But, I mean, my team's full of 90 or 88, 89 rated players as well, with Barkley, Deli Alley, both 89, Sterling, 88, Harry Kane is 90 rated. So we've not exactly got a weak side ourselves. So as much as I say I'm quite scared of the opposition, the opposition will be quite scared of us. And even the players that are lower rated, like Bradley Halliday, I say lower in uh, quotation marks, lower rated at 85, his stats actually for his position are very, very good. Obviously extremely fast and very good in the tackle. And we might be able to make this 2-0 here. Harry Kane slots that home nicely, catching Belgium on the counter-attack. I don't know where their defence went. It was it's surely too early to start throwing everybody forward. But as you can see there, there was just no cover. Harry Kane slots home. Two goals on the left foot of right-footed players. Kane now with an assist and a goal in this semi-final. We are 2-0 up inside 20 minutes. Kaku out to Mernier. Down the line to Carrasco's onside. And it's a decent delivery. Who's underneath that? Bradley Halliday, thankfully. Luke Shaw up here to win this header. I'm going to quickly get that, that out of Ross Barkley's feet. That was dangerous. Very dangerous. I don't know where that pass was headed. Deli Alli will get it here to Oxlade Chamberlain. Forward to Harry Kane. Belgium have actually been pretty decent in the build-up play. But when it comes to actually creating the final chance... They, so far, have been pretty disappointing. But, of course, they have the quality to be able to cause us problems should they get their act together going forward. So I'm not taking anything for granted. Just as we did at the beginning of the game, I'm still not now, even though we have this two-goal cushion. And Golan out wide here to Eden Hazard. Drilled first time. Finds De Bruyne on the edge of the box. Smalling with a tackle, but De Bruyne wins it back again. Kevin De Bruyne! Oh, my word. That is why we can't take anything for granted. It just drops free to Kevin De Bruyne's left foot on the edge of the box and he's pinged that tops. Smash. What a strike. We've had three goals in this game. They've all been very good finishes and all on the weak foot of the goal scorer. Unbelievable stuff so far. Romelu Lukaku will bang one in with his right foot next. It's 2-1 here in the 35th minute. This semi-final is by no means over yet. Dyer. Through the gap there nicely to Chamberlain. We'll play it down the line to Bradley Halliday. Now, how's his crossing, Bradley? Oh, it's a really dangerous whip, but unfortunately Harry Kane didn't read it. And Vertonghen will smash it clear, but Luke Shaw should win this header. He's knocked it down, actually, to himself. I'm just going to try and turn and maybe find Ross Barkley in the middle there, which he's done well. Barkley could play it through to Kane. I'm trying to hit it first time, but Vertonghen gets it away. You need to win this header, please. Well up, John Stones. Not very often you get someone winning a header quite that convincingly in the air against Romelu Lukaku. Harry Kane gets this out wide here to Oxley chamberlain who's chopped. Now, was that inside or outside the box? It seems like it was outside. No word of a penalty in commentary. And a yellow card for Jordan Lukaku. And it is outside the box. Now, James Ward-Prowse, we brought on last time to take a free kick in a similar position. But let's give this to Eric Dyer. Not much curve, so I'm just going to keep it quite central. And, well, actually, for 56 curve, that curved quite a bit, didn't it? Well over the bar. Three and a half minutes to go till half time, still 2 1. Right, so it's half time here in this semi final. They've only had the one shot, but it flew into the top corner from Kevin De Bruyne. They've had just as much possession as me. We've both been as accurate as each other with the passing as well 91% each. We've obviously created a lot more and find ourselves in front, but there's no reason whatsoever why Belgium can't completely flip things around on us here in this second half. So we have to stay. 100% concentrated, not sure why uh, my controller disconnected there. We have to stay 100% concentrated and ensure that we don't let this lead slip. A two-goal lead has already been halved. We don't want them to get themselves all the way back into it and get an equaliser. Uh, it'd be very nice if I could get a third early on in this second half just to get that margin back again. Because then if they are going to score a second, it won't cause us any sort of problem long term. Sterling here turning inside. Oh no, it's meant for Harry Kane and his look for Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. And Eden Hazard back on the uh, cover has done well to get that away. That's frustrating. I'd have been able to find Harry Kane there. Surely we would have been able to slot that home for a third. Imagine then going into Kevin De Bruyne. Into Tielemans. Back to KDB. Getting a little bit nervous here with runners all around. Kevin De Bruyne holding on to the ball though. And he's done me there. I committed too early. Mounier with a cross. Smallings. That's going in. So... Smalling with the chest, but thankfully Bradley Halliday mops up 
after the keeper could only tip that away. It was very close to an own goal there from Chris Smalling. Would have been quite embarrassing to have Belgium equalise in that manner. Sterling linking up well here with Barkley, but they've won it back again in midfield. This is difficult. Belgium are a good side. They haven't created much, but you know they have the quality up top that if they do create more chances, they are very likely to score. Imagine Angolan here down the right-hand side. They could create another one immediately. I tried to put him off there, but that's not gone uh, according to plan at all. Rajan Angolan in the box. Turns, shoots. Thankfully, he's very, very wasteful there. 35 minutes to go in this second half. Our lead, for now, is still two goals to one. Oinier oh, yeah. into Tielemans. Hazard has popped up on the right-hand side now. Have they, no, they haven't switched wingers. I was about to say, have they? But no, they, oh, what a ball. Hazard. How was... They bought, they bought Thorgan on. Am I seeing two Hazards on the pitch now for Belgium? Let me just quickly check. I got all confused there. I am seeing two Hazards on the pitch for Belgium. I was going to say, Hazard seemed to be a lot further right there than he needed to be. They've taken off Yuri Tielemans. They've bought on Thorgan Hazard. I'm going to take off Eric Dyer and bring on Jack Wilshere just to give some fresh legs in that central midfield role. Half an hour to go. Still 2-1. It's Thorgan Hazard driving forward through the midfield. Good tackle by Deli Alli, though. Not around for his tackling ability, but he did well there. Oxley Tamlin has just left Jordan Lukaku behind there with great footwork. And inside to Harry Kane. The early effort. But too high. Drilled that wide here to Carrasco. Good footwork. Luke Shaw should have been matched for pace, to be fair. But the change of direction I'm struggling to cope with. John Stones heads that away. Luke Shaw will win that aerial battle very nicely. Down the line to Raheem Sterling. Harry Kane shot there into the central area to give support. We'll just drift uh, right, and unfortunately, Alex Oxlade-Chain was rather reluctant to get forward there, but Bradley Halliday's off on a run. We'll work that inside. This is great football, and Barkley's there, and I could go across to Sterling, and I want to, and I will, and Raheem Sterling shoots straight at Courtois. Barkley with a header to knock it back to the middle, but I think it was actually the defender that won that, and Vertonghen anywhere will do for him. Wow. That surely had to be 3-1 and game over there. Raheem Sterling with a guilt-edged opportunity. Harry Kane tries to turn Jan Vertonghen, but he's not to fool his Tottenham teammate. Very well done by Jan Vertonghen there to stop me from getting in behind. Less than 20 minutes to go now. To Buena. Lukaku's making the run. He's dropped off. I'm not going to win any strength battles against him. That could be a vital interception from John Stones, although it has led to a Belgian corner now. It's going to be Kevin De Bruyne, their goal scorer, to take it. I've taken off Kane and brought on Rashford. And I've also taken off uh, Deli Alli and brought on James Ward-Prowse. And there's a foul there from Kevin De Bruyne. We'll take the free kick and we'll waste some extra seconds. I don't feel necessarily the need to waste time in this game. I still feel quite comfortable defensively and almost quite willing to continue to push bodies forward in search of a third I'd rather kill it off than just try and sit on it and to be fair we might be able to kill it off now that wasn't meant for Rashford it was meant for Oxley Chamberlain who could return it to Rashford here can you beat the keeper to it yes he can but Courtois with a save and Mernier just gets rid Luke Shaw should win this header he's chested it down in fact play that in there to James Ward-Prowse into Rashford back to Ward-Prowse the two substitutes linking up well but it's another good tackle from Belgian centre-back from a Belgian centre-back this time Toby Alderweireld Kevin De Bruyne on the run Good tackle by Luke Shaw again. This game has been absolutely brilliant so far. Action throughout. No real dead periods whatsoever. That was a poor pass from Oxley Chamberlain. Perhaps a tired pass from tired legs. Bradley Halliday will win this header. Spin Jack Wilshire there nicely. Or Jack Wilshire will spin there nicely. Rashford will see it play through. Right, now's the chance to finish it. Please, Marcus. Oh, this 93 rated Courtois in this save is so hard to score against. Rashford with a header, wide of the target. They've brought on Divock Origi now for Romelu Lukaku to give themselves some more options or a different option up top. But will it be enough? Less than five minutes remain. Wilshire into Prowse, round the corner to Rashford. He's Oxlade Chamberlain. I've got support arriving from Bradley Halliday, but I will go central. This is great football, and Will Prowse will play it back. No, Toby with a big curly toe to cut it out. If his toenails were slightly short, that would have been clean through there for Marcus Rashford to score as the third. Or, well, to be more apt, clean through there for Marcus Rashford to run through and Courtois to save the one-on-one. -on -one. Let's not lose focus now at the very end of the game, though. Jordan Lukaku with the ball in. Smalling does well and Hamilton will just clear it. And hopefully the referee will decide to blow his final whistle very, very soon. Smalling with another vital interception. And we're getting this away now. Ref, please do me a favour. Rashford's in behind again. 
We're clean through for a second time with Marcus Rashford. Can we now finish it off? Yes, we can. Rashford makes it England three, Belgium one with practically the last kick of the game. We are through to Euro 2020 final, the Euro 2020 final. It's going to be England versus Germany in the final. We'll don the suit for it in tomorrow's episode. And I think that will be the last action of the game. And the referee indeed is going to blow his final whistle. That was tough. That was very tough. Keeper wasn't called upon too much, apart from maybe that chest from Smalling that led, nearly led to an own goal. But some vital interceptions from my centre-backs in that game. Some very vital interceptions. We almost took a 1-0 lead extremely early on, but unfortunately didn't. Still went 2-0 up inside 20. De Bruyne, probably with the best goal of the game, in fairness. But I'm very, very pleased to be through to the final. Much more created from us. We were less accurate with our passing in that half. And Belgium had more of it and created twice as many chances as they did in the first. But they weren't good enough in the end. And it's going to be England versus Germany for the Euro 2020 final here in tomorrow's episode. I'm thrilled with that. We'll just advance as far as the final to see if uh, there are any things that happen with regards to our Cambridge team, i.e. transfer bids, etc. We had a couple in the last episode. Let's see if there are any more in this one. We have had a transfer offer for Alvaro Morata from Arsenal, which I will be rejecting. Of course, we have Morata now and Luciano Vieto, who's joined us on a pre-contract. So it might spell the end of Jamie McLaren or uh, Anthony Lozano. We're not sure yet. We'll have to wait and see. That, of course, will be properly decided in uh, well when we get back to the Cambridge United save, but it doesn't look like there's going to be anything else. There might be. One email here. What's this? A transfer offer for Bradley Halliday. Holy moly. Well, he wants to leave. He wants to leave. What I can do, considering we're now just before the final, I'm going to leave that there. Let me know in the comment section what you think, what, what you think, what you think I should do with that. Because episode one of the career mode RTG season six, I'll only go as far as this game against PSG. So that offer for Bradley Halliday won't expire. So I will be able to get your feedback on it. A, now. B, probably from the final episode as well. And C, from episode one of the sixth season of career mode RTG. That's thrown a spanner in the works because he wanted out, but he's a lot better than Kieran Trippier, and of course we're dropping Mitchell Weiser back. Oh dear, let's let's deal with that at the time. Let's concentrate on England for now. That is us into the Euro 2020 final to play Germany tomorrow. The suit will be back. It brought us good luck in the Champions League final. It brought us... See, you guys very accurately pointed out to me that um, I had won the suit prior to the Champions League final in the Checker Trade Trophy, but I think we lost that. I can't quite remember, but you guys reminded me that we were in it and I actually think we lost it. I can't quite remember. Let's have a quick look, actually. Um, so apologies for the... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Tangent. There we go. Uh, oh, we got to the area semi-final of the Chicka Trade Trophy. Oh, it might have been season one, actually, because that was a separate save, wasn't it? I can't remember. I'll have to go through and have a look at my previous episodes. Because, of course, at the end of season... If you're new, uh, newer to the series, at the end of season one, I accidentally overwrote the save and had to rebuild it and recreate a number of players. So, obviously, we lost the progress. And I think that Checker Trade Trophy final was in season one. And I can't remember whether I, whether I won it or not. So, I'll go back and have a look. And then, hopefully, I'll be all clued up and I'll be able to know the history of my own team and my own management. You play so many different episodes and different games and different series as, as a YouTuber, you just forget, especially considering that was five seasons ago. But anyway, I'm rambling. Thank you very much for watching. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed. Let me know in the comment section down below whether you think we'll win against Germany or not. And I'll see you tomorrow for that episode.